All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna keep picking away at her today. Um, we're actually gonna get the lower intake manifold taken off. Obviously, the fuel rail, injectors, tuck back, hopefully, the rest of that harness, and uh, make some freaking progress, finally. I feel, finally feel like I'm getting somewhere with this project. Um, it's like a slow and steady type of deal. Um, yeah, let's get to it. First things first, I um, took off the hold down brackets on the fuel rails. Um, I have to look for the, uh, the disconnect tools that I do have. Um, obviously I took the bungs or whatever you want to call them off the fuel injectors. For the most part, they all came off just fine. The back left one under the regulator, um, I broke one of the clips. I'm not too concerned. Um, you guys think I should be? Please let me know. I don't think I, I think it'll be fine. I'll probably just snug it down and electrical tape it when I put it back together. Um, we're gonna disconnect the fuel rail. I think that's pretty much it. Fuel rail. And then we could take off the lower intake manifold bolts and it should come out. I'm not really seeing much else here. All right, guys, here we go. I uh, depressurized the fuel system. Oh, yeah, right away. Uh, half inch. Disconnect tool. They sell these at Harbor Freight. Got a little baggie of them. Well, what's left over of them from before. Um, they work great. And to depressurize, I, I usually let these, obviously this car's been sitting for a week or two guys, or actually probably like a month. But, so I knew it was gonna be nothing in that, but really to bleed, you wanna bleed this guy off right here without whatever pressure's in there. Um, just so you don't have too much up here, but I mean, I hit that first and I had nothing there. Just like a drip or two, so. I can't get the cap on now. What the? I swear, I just had this off. Huh. Anyway, I that last stud out I was talking about. Um, loosening the crossover heater tube, heater tube. I call it crossover because I have one Honda's, that's a crossover tube, but um, Cut it out, there's one studded bolt left in the back. Pull it off to the side, get your salt shakers out of here. A little pry bar that I probably shouldn't need. My fuel lines are tucked off pretty good. This shot, you know what, you can kind of pry, there's like little metal tabs that I'll show you guys in a minute. You can kind of pry it on. Actually, I'll show you right now. Um, and kind of give it a light pry. It's as loose as heck. Oh yeah, that's going to come right out. So, But you can kind of pry off these guys a little bit if you had to, very lightly. Small hole, small pry, pry bar, like screwdriver size. And it's all those tabs all the way on each side. I'm going to give you guys a little bit better of a view in here. Just to see what it looks like. A little milky. This is why I wanted, wanted just to completely rebuild this motor. It wasn't worth it to me to do more bolt-ons. I already had it somewhat apart once and it's like you keep leaking oil and just 30 something years old you need to come out. Here's your lower intake manifold. You got your fuel rail which I believe is good for up to 500 horse in that range so I'm probably gonna keep it. Your stock 19 pound injectors are always orange. Um, Gotta get rid of those. They're good. Probably throw them on eBay. Um, your stock fuel pressure regulator. I didn't have any issues, but it's going on the shelf. I just want to give you guys an idea. I mean, these guys aren't that big. These runners, but it gets worse. Look at the size of these. I mean, I'm built like a 16 year old schoolgirl, and my thumb covers them. Get yourself a set of, you know, uh, an Adelbrock intake manifold or any aftermarket, even if it's a Typhoon. As much as I crap on Typhoons, I just bought another one. I'm porting the heck out of it, so. Which I will have some videos on that shortly. Um, but yeah, 
That's it, guys. Until next time, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm out of breath. That kind of beat me up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, have a good night, guys. See you.